Hey guys, we're gonna go ahead and test out new software 8.0. Taking the wife to the doctors and I'll do some autopilot on the way there so we can kind of take a look and uh, see what happens. If you look through the window there, you can kind of see what it looks like on the dash when it's charging as well. Looks very similar to uh, the 17 inch console in the middle. All right, we'll see you in a little First bit. taste of autopilot uh, version, software version 8.0. We're gonna go ahead and crank around here in a second. You guys can see that the actual uh, icons are a little bit bigger. Now the cruise control, adaptive cruise control has got the numbers in the middle. So let's go ahead and turn around. Here we go. First time, enabled. Here we go. She sees I got like this uh, big, huge house coming up here on wheels, oversized load. Let's see how she handles it here. The wife always gets afraid of this. I mean, it's definitely detecting it as like a semi or whatever. Now I heard that it might. It might uh, detect like oncoming traffic, like the direction of the traffic from the other side, but I um, haven't seen nothing like that yet. And I've had cars really close to me on the other side, so I don't think that's actually a feature. It's not going to show any cars coming um, in this direction toward us. But I have seen it where it has showed two cars ahead of us, so it's definitely bouncing that radar underneath the car to the other car ahead of us. So let's see how it takes this corner. There is a car ahead of this oversized load, but I think this oversized load is just too long for the radar to kind of get underneath and go into the front of it. Here's a little bit of the display for the mapping. I got my um, backup camera on, and then I have uh, my GPS going as well. Um, if you look, it says hold steering wheel, and it's actually flashing in white the whole outside perimeter of the display cluster to kind of give you a warning. So let's go back over here again. There is the GPS map. Um, again, it's full screen. Not really full screen, but I got a full in that area, so the bar is gone. Um, again, to get it back, all you do is just touch it. It comes back if you, if you want it, so. All right, let's see how this handles this. You can see your adaptive cruise control has the max speed limit up here as well. Automatically shows up inside the adaptive Adaptive Cruise Control Circle. I kind of wish the oversized low wasn't in front of us because it would be neat to see the two cars kind of come together. And I might do, uh, I might add on this video, I might add that as well. So we'll see here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and end the video for right now. It's an area where the radar is bouncing underneath this truck ahead of me. And there's multiple vehicles ahead of, ahead of him. So. You can see two cars ahead, so it knows what the other car is doing ahead of him. Let's see if we can get a little closer to that guy. Now one thing I just noticed as well is there was actually a, uh, a truck similar to that white truck over there half on half off the white line here and I know uh, somebody died I think it was in Japan or China or something like that a young kid 23 years old took his dad's Tesla was driving autopilot and the Tesla kind of drove right into the uh, um, call it like a semi almost those little delivery trucks because it was half on and off the white line so um, not that I trusted it but I kind of let it go toward that truck and the car actually made an adjustment and went to the outside the outside of my lane and went around the truck which is pretty awesome so so this is more autopilot on version 8.0 I kind of wanted to show you guys how it can detect two cars ahead that car is pretty far ahead of me right now as we get closer it should detect a second car ahead of it so let's see what happens here yeah there it goes now you can see there's two cars. So there's 
two cars there. There's two cars. And it actually knows where the other car is on the lane, which is really neat. And you can see the other cars going by as well, which is really cool. And now it's following that car because that car is blue. All right, guys, so that's my little overview of Autopilot on version 8.0. Um, so far so good. It did give my wife a little bit of a scare as we were going up a hill, but uh, no, nothing too bad. <laughs> but uh, see right now it's kind of like not knowing what to do and it kind of goes over. Now it detects the lanes and comes back where it needs to be. Alright guys, we'll uh, let you go. Until next time. Oh, if you like Tesla Tim, please subscribe. <laughs>